In wet conditions, there's plenty of rain and cold temperatures across central Alabama to start the day. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to continue too for the next several days, kind of heading through the weekend and into early next week. We're in the upper 30s in Birmingham right now, but we do have some spots in north and northwest Alabama that are actually a little bit below freezing. Haleyville being one of those. Uh, the observing station in Coleman is not currently working, but uh, I suspect that many of our northern counties are actually at or below freezing right now. And so that being said, because there is some areas that are seeing some patchy light rain or some patchy drizzle. Some of that will be freezing and could very well create just a, a thin layer of ice, maybe on some elevated surfaces up across north and northwest Alabama, at least for the next couple of hours before we should see temperatures rebounding a bit. And there's enough wind too that it is creating wind chills. It feels like 23 in Haleyville. It feels like 30 in Birmingham at this hour. And there's a look at WVTM 13 live Doppler and you can see much of the area uh, kind of seeing just some of that patchy light rain that's moving on through and that'll be the case through the day today. So just uh, more rain kind of off and on through the day. You'll need a coat because it's going to remain cold and keep that umbrella close by too with uh, with the showers expected kind of off and on. Now through the uh, mid to late morning hours, we may see a little bit of a break in the metro area before the rain does kind of fill back in later on this afternoon and into tonight especially and then into tomorrow morning with temperatures, especially again across the northwest dropping below freezing. We could see some light ice accumulations in a handful of our northwestern counties, specifically Mary and Winston Lamar, maybe even parts of Coleman County too. Those areas are most likely to drop below freezing by early tomorrow morning and therefore could see uh, some light ice accumulation. For the rest of us, I think we stay above freezing to start the day on Saturday. Just going to be kind of a wet day again. And then we jump to our next winter weather threat, which will come in. It looks like uh, Sunday night into early Monday, and it looks like the same area again, specifically the northwestern counties where we could get some minor ice accumulation with that threat of some freezing rain. And then once we head into Monday late in the afternoon, Monday night and into early Tuesday morning, it looks like that cold air moves a little bit further south and east. And so we could see more widespread impacts from the threat of some freezing uh, freezing rain during that time frame uh, into early on Tuesday morning. So you can see kind of some of those numbers with the, uh, the highest threat of accumulating ice still kind of along in north and west of the interstate there. 50 59.20. All right, so through the weekend, temperatures are going to be in the 40s, it looks like, into early next week with several opportunities for some rain, even a little bit of freezing rain mixed in as well. Back to you. All right, thanks, Steph. Our time right now is 648, and one of the most talked about bills in the state continues to be debated. That's the gambling proposal by State Senator Del Marsh.